Daher took the wraps off its latest generation TBM turboprop single, the TBM 960, on April 5th at the 2022 Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo in Lakeland, Florida, where it also displayed the first production example. Replacing the 940 in the company's lineup, the approximately $4.6 million aircraft sports a more efficient Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6E 66XT with a five-blade composite propeller and digital e-throttle. The aircraft also includes what Daher describes as a digitally controlled cabin that incorporates an all-new environmental control system, LED ambience lighting, and electrically dimmable windows. Here is everything you need to know about the Daher TBM 960. Stay with us till the end to learn more about this exciting aircraft. With the new aircraft's launch, Daher's TBM family is now offered in two versions, the TBM 960 and 910. Daher said the European Aviation Safety Agency certification of the 960 is already in hand while FAA approval is pending. Deliveries of the new model are expected to begin by July. An optional prestige cabin package ups the price to about $4.8 million and adds a new environmental control system, LED ambience lighting, and electronically dimmable windows. This premium cabin also includes a passenger comfort display for control of the environmental control system, LED ambient strip lighting integrated into both sides of the overhead ceiling panel, and dimmable windows, as well as other enhancements such as new ergonomically enhanced seats, USB-A and C power plugs, cup holders, and headset hangers at each of the airplane's six seats. For the TBM 960, a fifth TBM paint scheme called Sirocco has been added to the aircraft style customization possibilities. With its G3000 integrated flight deck, the TBM 960 retains Daher's e-copilot and safety systems found in other TBM models. This includes an icing protection system, flight envelope monitoring through the electronic stability and protection and the underspeed protection systems, the emergency descent mode function, as well as the home safe emergency auto land system. New to the TBM 960 is the Garmin GWX 8000 Doppler weather radar. With surveillance features like lightning and hail prediction, turbulence detection, zero blind range for close in returns, and ground clutter suppression. It is also the first application for the Garmin GDL60 flight parameter recorder with a 4G Wi-Fi transceiver, which allows automatic database uploads and links with mobile devices. FADEC, Full Authority Digital Engine Control, is another new feature incorporated into the TBM 960. A single power lever, Daher calls it an e-throttle, controls the engine and propeller and automatically prevents the engine from exceeding temperature limits. Yet another new system automates the start sequence. Topping the list of the big improvements is the TBM 960's engine, a Pratt & Whitney PT6E 66XT rated for 1,844 shaft horsepower in thermodynamic power terms and derated to 850 shaft horsepower like predecessor designs. This allows more power with lower internal temperatures at higher cruise altitudes. The new engine comes with a 5,000 hour overhaul interval and hot section inspections required between 2,000 and 3,000 hours. Daher explains that the intelligent PT6E 66XT power plant and Hartzell Propeller's five blade Raptor composite propeller are the heart of the TBM 960, both of which are linked to the dual channel digital engine and propeller electronic control system. According to Daher, the PT6E 66XT startup is fully automated after a single switch activation. Further, the e-throttle power lever uses a single forward position from takeoff to landing, with the dual channel digital engine and propeller electronic control system optimizing power plant performance throughout the flight envelope, reducing pilot workload and increasing the engine life. 
fully integrated into the propulsion system, a new 1925 RPM five-blade composite construction heart cell Raptor propeller is specifically designed to reduce overall weight and improve the TBM 960's takeoff distance, climb, and cruise speed, in addition to limiting noise and vibration. Its sound level during takeoff is 76.4 decibels, meeting stringent international noise standards. The TBM 960 retains the high speed of Daher's TBM family, explains the company, while enabling lower fuel consumption. At Daher's recommended cruise setting of 308 knots, the fuel consumption is only 57 U.S. gallons, or 216 liters per hour, which is a 10% fuel economy compared to the maximum cruise setting for more sustainability. The TBM 960 is the quintessential TBM, representing the fifth evolution of our very fast turboprop aircraft family since the TBM 9 series introduction in 2014, said Nicholas Chabert, the senior vice president of Daher's aircraft division. It takes the maximum advantage of today's turboprop technology to provide digital control of the engine and the propeller. Performance is roughly the same as the 940, including a top speed of 330 knots or 661 kilometers per hour at FL280 and max range of 1730 nautical miles or 3200 kilometers at 252 knots. At Daher's recommended cruise setting of 308 knots, the fuel consumption is only 57 U.S. gallons or 216 liters per hour. The Model 960 does have a 221 pound or 100 kilogram increase in maximum takeoff weight to 7,615 pounds or 3,450 kilograms to help offset the 140 pound or 63 kilogram heavier prestige interior. The TBM 960 replaces the 940 and joins the 910 in Daher's product line for 2022. The plane has been certified by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency and the certification process with the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is currently underway. Deliveries of the TBM 960 are set to begin in the first half of 2022. While the price for the standard TBM 960 is approximately $4.6 million, an optional prestige cabin package ups the price to about $4.8 million, with an anticipated increase to $5 million for the 2023 model year. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.